Hello Internet, this is Kala, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. So, we finished the tutorial last time, and now we're actually starting the game. I am going to keep hints mode on, just to keep things uh, similar to... Oh. Actually, no. No hints mode. We're going to go with the main game, because I have a build in mind, and it's not one of the three hint versions. Um, so our species is going to be Spriggans. Let's show... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. We're going to choose Spriggans, which, as you saw... Um... are very small, very frail, and very fast, highly competent stabbers and spellcasters. And as for our background, we are going to choose enchanters. They use spells to boost themselves in battle or incapacitate others. They also start with good darts. Now this build is a little uh, nerfed from what it was in the past, but it's still a very good one. Um, Spriggans are small and fast and uh, very much what, you know, you'd expect of a small and stealthy rate, um, stealthy species. And enchanters are all about using that stealth to their advantage. There are a few major disadvantages to Spriggans. First of all, they are very... Because they are very small, they cannot wear most armor. And secondly, they are completely vegan. So, no meat from any source. Considering that most backgrounds... Uh, sorry. Most species get their food from corpses in the dungeon, this will restrict things pretty heavily. But there are ways around that and we'll be fine. So we start with Potion of Porridge as our initial food, 12 darts, a robe, a plus one plus one dagger, and a book of maledictions. You can see the spell list on the bottom. Corona, Shore Blade, and Sorcerer Hibernation confuse enslavement and invisibility. These will help us massively throughout the dungeon. So let's also check out our skills. We know short bleeds, thr bit of throwing, dodging, stealth, stabbing, spellcasting, and hexes. The ones I'm going to keep on for now are spellcasting, stabbing, stealth, stealth and traps and doors. Uh, let's focus on stabbing now to start. And we'll adjust this manually as we go along to uh, take advantage of all the things we have. So we stand here at the beginning of the dungeon. This is the way out to the big blue room. Sky, stinging birds, fresh air, and taxes on whatever else you ran from. <laughs> so clearly this digital end request whether you carry the orb with you or not. So clearly that's not where we're going. Let's, uh, pick up this random potion. Oh, there's a hobgoblin over there. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. No such luck. Moderately wounded, killed. We pick up th that scroll and that potion. We rest for a bit. And now we keep exploring. Stones, don't need those. There's a goblin here, he's woken up. Let's let him come to us instead of us coming to him. Oh, no. Kill. Kill. We can't do anything with the with this corpse. So I will pick up the dagger. Rest again. Let's pick up some more things. Uh, I'm using auto travel very extensively, as you can probably imagine. Let's pick up those darts of frost. Let's quiver those instead of our regular ones. We've gained some some gold. 
Let's keep killing things whenever possible. Always good. These bats are annoying because they're very fast. And so, as you see, they're moving faster than we can hit them. Still, it's possible to kill them if we just keep trying. There's a helmet here, but we can't wear it. And there's no use in picking up things that we can't use. There's no way to resell items. That's why I'm not obsessive about picking up everything. I'm only picking up things that are actually useful to me. Like the darts, or what have you. More darts. Dead kobolds, more darts. scroll. Dead kobolds, another level. Um, so every level we've trained our skills somewhat. Uh, we can also do, on some levels, gain our basic at, um, ability, our basic points, strength, intelligence, and dexterity. Our basic statistics. And, uh, we also gained the ability to learn more spells. Uh, sure, let's learn Shurblade. Uh, so let's look at this book of maledictions. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Travel, auto explore. Uh, this is one nice thing about using tiles that this um, is here to help us. Oh, here we go. The spell forms a mystical bond between the caster and a wielded short blade, making the blade easier to use for a time. We'll see what that does when we get close to a monster. Let's cast that and become one with your weapon. Let's draw a bit. Pass it again. Oh, I miscasted, which means I'm slightly corrupted with magical contamination. Um, if I keep trying to cast anyway, that can become problematic in the future. And you'll notice I'm running away. I don't have to kill that hobgoblin. I don't actually have to kill anything on the level. I just have to survive any way I can and get down to the bottom of the dungeon. That being said, it's to my advantage to kill the hobgoblin because he has relatively easy, hit, um, easy experience compared to things further on and can probably give me some good things. But I'm under no obligation to kill him immediately if that doesn't work for me, which it didn't right then, and so that's okay. So there's a whip there which I can't use. There's ring mail which I'm not going to use. Rest here again. Kill that hobgoblin. Disarm this trap. Um. It took me a couple of tries, but I did it. Um, increasing my skill at finding and disarming traps and finding secret doors will be useful to me in the future. As the traps themselves get more and more dangerous. So yeah, I'm just picking up daggers as I see them. Always picking up things like gold and, uh, and, food, and permanent food that I can eat. Picking up gold and the like. Um, there's no reason these things wouldn't be useful to me, basically. Cast Sure Blade. Stab that one to death. Cast Sure Blade again. It basically improves my accuracy. It's not a spell I use very much once I know other ones, but for now it's very handy as I, I don't have the competence with this blade yet that I would like. Die! There we go. Stabbing still increases. Um, stabbing. Let's uh, check up on skills again. Oh. 
help. Here we go. Stabbing is the skill that governs the likeliness of doing greater damage when attacking a distract or a helpless creature as well as the amount of extra damage dealt. Some gods may disapprove of this, but obviously we will not be dealing with such gods. Okay, here comes Han Goblin. Stab that one to death. Here comes a Newt. Get that one too. Extra gold, more gold, more auto explore, more auto explore. And we're done exploring. So we're done with level one. We've gotten a couple of good things, including a number of unidentified items that we need to identify soon. And I'm going to call it here for, for this level. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you.